What's happening guys, so back now a couple of days in the UK um, after competing out in World's Strongest Man 2022. First of all, I think we all need to give Tom a huge well done, congratulations. Um, he did absolutely amazing. I just wanted to come, a, come on and have a little chat about the we often experience as athletes and I think not just strong men but all athletes um, that kind of post comp blue, uh, blues so I don't want to say depression but it's almost like that you know you get into a little little lull and you feel a little bit kind of gutted um, so for me finishing seventh I still feel like a failure in in my job I suppose because my job is to win world's strongest man so you know, yeah, I made the final, came seventh in the world. It's still a good place to finish, but my um, my hopes, my goals, my um, th what I wanted was to win World's Strongest Man, and that didn't happen. And that makes me then feel like I've failed in the that process to to what I'd, I'd planned. And and I think a lot of us feel like that. You know, we're as as strong men as alphas or whatever it is you want to call call us you know we often don't speak about this um and i think that's something that we try and do or certainly tom and i you know try and do is promote the mental health aspect and try and you know show that we we speak about it so this is what i thought i would do is just come on have a little chat you know because there's so many great athletes the 30 guys that were competing in world's strongest man this year any one of them could made the final you know and it's it's so heartbreaking sometimes when you, World Strongest Man completely consumes you and you just want to make the final and win World Strongest Man. That's that's what, you, what what we're doing it for. That's why we compete in World Strongest Man is to win the the most amazing title of World Strongest Man. And when we don't make the final, like I didn't make it in 2020, I came back. I was it, it was a low point for me, you know, because I. I talked about putting a lot of pressure on myself before um, and expecting the, the utmost from myself. And I know I'm not the only one that does that, you know, so... I, the guys in the final, Martins, Alexi, Brian, Trey, Maxime, you know, all these guys are incredible athletes and, um, you know, they probably, they will put pressure on themselves. Brian Shaw's a four times winner, Martin's won it, Alexi's won it. Um, and, you know, it's just a shout out to all these great athletes. It's, I I know how it feels, you know, I don't know how it feels to win, but I know how it feels to feel like I've let myself down. And that's what I'm probably experiencing a little, little bit at the moment. When Tom, rightly so, Tom's in a high, he's buzzing, he's the two times champion, back to back champion. Like, it's incredible, you know, to see Tom so happy, and I'm so, so happy for Tom, and so proud of Tom to, to win that. But then, on the flip side, it's all the other guys, including me, that haven't done what we've wanted to do. So, it's just about taking care of ourselves now, you know, so we've got a... We're in this kind of little void at the moment, this little kind of lull before we start training again. So, it's rather than, you know... A lot of us can go out and party, drinking and, you know, not taking care of ourselves. It's to be really careful and just look after ourselves, spend time with our friends or family, be able to speak about our, our issues at the moment. You know, as, you know, speaking to Kushi, like, she would never say that I'm a failure, failure, obviously. But for me, I feel like that, so I need someone to vent to. And that's what Kushi is. That's what, you know, your friends should be, your family. And um, then for me to make myself feel okay is to get back straight away into my cold water swims in the morning, see the sunrise, get back into training as soon as I can once my body's recovered, get back into my diet. So it's all about getting back into that routine because at the moment it, things are all over the place. We're trying to you know, get over jet lag and all this stuff and it's just, it's a little bit of a, a, a strange time because for basically since last year at World's Strongest Man, um, 2021 when that finished to this year's world's strongest man that's what that's what we compete for you know so we've got a year of training a year of just focusedness on winning world's strongest man 2022 and only one person can win that 
and that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Um, maybe some some of the other athletes there have a different kind of mindset to me, um, but I know a lot of guys. You know, some guys that didn't make the final. You know, they'll be upset. They'll be wanting to make amends next year, and and I guess that's what can drive us as athletes as well as well. You know, without failure, I've said it before, without failure we wouldn't have great people, so um, we need to experience failure, we need to be able to live with it and accept it and learn from it, so that's what I've got to do now. As, as I'm feeling like I've failed, I'm feeling more of a failure. Um, I didn't improve in my position last year, which, which is annoying because I look for progression as an athlete, um, so going forward I really need to you know, take accountability. What what could I have done differently? What could I have, um, you know, maybe I neglected something. Maybe I neglected a bit of my conditioning or whatever it is. So I need to analyse this and kind of go forward and and try and push on and, you know, win world strongest man twenty twenty three. You know, that's that's my goal. I've said my goal already. That's what I want to do. I need to do that. You know, I really there's something inside me that, that I have to win that before I'm okay um, and that's probably the same with Bishop Kearney, Maxime Trey Mitchell um, all these other great athletes you know they've all got that want to win it and um, it's a worry you know for me if, if I don't win it then what what will happen to me I hope that that doesn't ever happen you know in, in my head I'm trying not to think like that but obviously there is a uh, a doubt in my head, of course there is, because we go against the best guys in the world, so I've got to try and remain focused, try and remain positive as much as I can, um, and just keep pushing on, and and basically that's what I'm wanting to say, you know, at the moment it's a little lull, um, but then hopefully, you know, for next week, going to start training Monday again, things will start progressing, and luckily, as as uh, strong men athletes, you know we have other competitions this year, so that gives us a focus. That gives us a drive. You know we don't sit back and feeling a bit depressed or sorry for ourselves for too long. But we do have that, um, and it, and that's the that's the reality of it. You know we are we are human beings. We are people. At the end of the day, and we have have kind of issues. You know we doubt ourselves. We have. Um, very high expectations of ourselves, and sometimes when those high expectations don't, um, we don't meet or we don't um, live up to those high expectations. That's when things kind of, you know, come down a bit. So my goal is to stay positive, to get back into my routine as much as I can, as soon as possible. So tomorrow I'll be going out for a cold water swim, um, watching what I'm eating, take uh, take my diet a little bit more seriously now. Um, get back to training as soon as I can, get my recovery game back up and then that will allow me to get back into that mindset where I then 100% believe I can win World's Strongest Man because at the moment, um, you know, it's 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 that kind of letting people down, um, especially myself. So hopefully all you other guys that competed, or everyone that competes, every athlete out there, I hope you're managing to look after yourself. We all experience failure as athletes. It's just about getting back up and kind of pushing it on and becoming better than we were yesterday. So that's my little take on my failure at World's Strongest Man. Before we uh, end the video, why do you want to win the world so badly? <laughs> I want to win World's Strongest Man <laughs> so badly because it's it's one thing in my life that I've I've put everything into you know I and I think that I owe it to myself to win it as well because it's a hard one to explain I'm I'm very consumed with world strongest man and winning world strongest man and I almost feel like if if I or when I win it I can just let go. You know, so at the moment I don't feel like I can. I feel like I've got unfinished business with, with World's Strongest Man and maybe I'll never win it. That's just the, the honest opinion. Um, but I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm capable of winning it. That's, that's what keeps me going. You know, I've beat, I've beat some great athletes, I've beat previous champions, so I know I can win it. And, you know, looking at Tom and witnessing Tom win it twice now, 
is some of the most proudest moments I've ever experienced and um, I just want it for myself um, almost so I can just be free of, of so I can be free of, of wanting something so bad and I can focus on something else because at the moment all I'm all I'm focused I've only just started, I've only just competed in World Strongest Man last weekend and now all I'm thinking about is World Strongest Man 2023 so it's it's very consuming um, and I think I need to win it for me to be able to just take a step back and almost appreciate things in, in life um, and until that happens maybe I won't ever be able to do that maybe I will I don't know but um, I just feel I owe it to myself because I've got this I know I have the potential to be world's strongest man and I think if I don't win it then I'm not living up to my full potential and I think that would be a that would be an injustice to, to me as a person so um, yeah I need to win world's strongest man it's very simple um, Tom's done it twice, so it can't be that hard, right? It must be pretty easy. Um, but I, I, that's the thing, I still feel very... It's weird, I, I feel like I've, I've failed, but I still feel okay, if that makes sense. Because I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that, you know, once I get back in the swing of things, everything will be fine again. It's just that little lull. Um, and that lull can get bigger and bigger and bigger, depending on you as an athlete, you as a person, so you need to be able to address that and kind of almost do things to make you feel better and do things that um, will allow you to become the best athlete, the best person you can be.